Hi, I'm Nicholas, and welcome to Adventures in Locksmithing. Um, this is just a channel where I kind of vlog what I do in my job. Um, so, take it back. I started as a locksmith back in February of 2007. And uh, back then, I started just as an apprentice. And then in May of 2016, I purchased the company that I work for. And I enjoy it. I have a lot of uh, fulfillment in doing this job. There's a lot of headaches doing this job and it's a lot interesting. Now I have a lot of friends that I would tell the stories that happen on my job, show them pictures or videos of stuff and they would be, wow, you really need to write a book. You really need to write a book. Um, I don't know if you know, but it's a lot of work to write a book and to publish a book, but you know what I can do? I can vlog about it on YouTube, I can do videos, and so that's what I decided to do. And you may recognize me and some of the videos you see on this channel from my other um, uh, channel, which is The Backyard Tardis. And that was a channel I created to just kind of express myself, uh, my nerddom. I am a sci-fi geek, a retro video game player, and so that's basically what I talk about there. Doctor Who, Stargate, Star Trek, Star Wars, uh, retro old classic Sega, Nintendo, Capcom games, um, and was having fun, but I decided, okay, I'll do this as a series on there. And I noticed a trend. I would drop a, a Adventures in Locksmithing video, and I get a lot of views, and I get new subscribers, and then I drop a couple of my uh, nerdy discussion videos, and they would go away. And so what this told me was there were people who was in, who were interested in my locksmithing work, but were not interested in everything else. And I'm sure there's some vice versa, but uh, I decided to break this out now. Here we're looking at uh, February in 2023. So there's that February again, uh, hitting hitting the mark now. Um, having been a locksmith for 16 years. Uh, going in and throwing this channel. So you're going to see what I'm going to do is I'm going to release this year. I plan to have a video every weekday of the week. And you're going to see, I'm going to take the 100 Adventures in Locksmithing that was on the other channel, and I'm going to upload those, three of those a week until we're caught up. And then fill that in with two shorts every week. Now the shorts are the vlog. Those are just like something I ran into on a job that day. Short, sweet stories. Uh, nothing groundbreaking. Uh, I had somebody say, wow, you thought this was a story for the ages uh, with my short on the other channel. I, no, th these are not going to be groundbreaking. These are just kind of my day-to-day -day things. What's going on? That's what vloggers do. But my adventures in locksmithing, while some of the early ones were kind of that before YouTube shorts were a thing, um, as we, we get into it, those are the more meaty stories. So those are going to be the stories that are the ones that I'm telling, uh, to friends at gatherings, barbecues, whatever, uh, as like the crazy wild things. That's kind of what I'm going to be. Plus there's also some, um, you know, helpful information, different things. And one of the nice things, switching over to its own new channel, instead of just having it all fall in one playlist, of adventures and locksmithing, I'm going to have playlists that are going to be like anything that's like a, a how-to helpful tip for yourself, that's going to go into a playlist. Everything that is a, hey, warning, this is a scam, that's a playlist. Or subjects like crazy, disgusting evictions and stuff like that, that's going to be one. Uh, some of the most uh, wacky uh, customers I've had, that's going to be another playlist. So just different things like that. Um, some of the craziest break-in stories. All that kind of stuff broken out so that if you're interested in something and you want to see more of that, it will be easy to find that on this channel. So I hope that helps. Now, like I said, I started back in um, February of 2007. And I was hired on right before the economy dropped as they were expanding. And then the economy dropped. Thankfully, another employee uh, huffed and puffed uh, about the price that I heard. he he quit um, because he he wanted to get a raise. He had two two years seniority on me, and uh, six months after that, another employee who really needed health benefits 
for his whole family because he had a lot of kids. He got a job as a bus driver that came with that and he quit. So within six months, I went from being at the bottom of the totem pole to being now in the middle as a lot of the people with more seniority over me had quit. And I kind of got put through the fire. I was sent out on jobs that I was not qualified yet for. And I made a lot of mistakes, I had to call a lot in for help. And, but I learned through that, through mistakes. And I stuck with the company. Uh, after me, they tried really hard. They went through a lot of employees trying to bring somebody else on. And none of them really stuck. So here, fast forward, the owner, he's retiring. And his general manager is about ready to retire. He's three way, years from full retirement. He's like, I'm not interested in buying it. So the offer was put to me as the next person with most seniority. And I got to buy the company. And um, I have a video talking about the company. It's called The, the Key Peddler. It was started by a 12-year-old on a bike back in the 80s. Um, so unique. So much neater than if I were to go Nick's Locksmith. Now, uh, The Key Peddler is an amazing name. It's an amazing company. Uh, and I enjoy taking up that legacy. Um, now, while this is not my nerdy channel, uh, you will see that my nerdiness does spill over. So I will make jokes and references that sometimes <laughs> will be a little bit of an inside joke if you're not into sci-fi. But for the most part, this channel is going to be all about locksmithing. Uh, now, what kind of locksmith channel is this? Well, is it going to be like lockpicking picking lawyer? Uh, everybody always asks me, but what's your thoughts on lockpicking lawyer? Um, that's sports picking. You know, he's taking a brand new lock and he's showing how he can pick it, how he can defeat it. That's not what this channel is. Um, something that it would be a little bit closer to would be Mr. Locksmith. Now, Mr. Locksmith owns a whole bunch of locksmith uh, businesses up in Canada. And he also runs a school where he trains people and he'll buy uh, failing locksmith companies and build them up and then resell them and th that's kind of his thing but here's the difference he does a lot of self-help how-to and i'm going to do a little bit of that but he's kind of real high production he's got a cameraman he's got that that's also not me i'm going to tell you the stories the things we go through day in and day out as locksmiths and this is going to relate not only to other locksmiths we're kind of getting an idea into our world but anybody that goes into people's houses, electrician, plumber. Um, if you're somebody who goes out and inspects houses, uh, installs satellite dishes, you know, direct TV, dish network, all that, all those people know some of what I'm talking about. You deal with crazy people. You deal with disgustingly dirty people. <laughs> you deal with just every kind of sort of imaginal of person. And kind of thing and so I think just like something like a Dilbert comic or something like that I think there's gonna be a lot of relatability in a lot of my stories and there's also gonna be for somebody who hasn't experienced that kind of stuff they're just gonna be in disbelief because being a locksmith being anybody that does home repair work um, you have a little bit of the retail aspect you're dealing with the public just like somebody in a retail store day in and day out on the phone answering all that uh, but you're also going into people's homes and that's that's kind of next level um in de dealing with the public and you get a lot of interesting situations now as a locksmith i am there on both their sometimes i'm their savior sometimes i'm the guy that to in their mind that's taking advantage of their situation or i am the guy there with the sheriff kicking them out because they haven't paid rent in 10 months you know whatever it may be um you know Sometimes I'm the good guy, sometimes I'm the bad guy, and wild stories and slew. Or sometimes, you know, I got a paranoid schizophrenic, and I'm the guy that suddenly had been bought by a um, big rice company or something like that. All sorts of things. Um, so funny stories, uh, shockingly disturbing videos of some of these evictions that I go on. Now, I do make it a point. I don't video customers. 
I, and I don't, I try not to give anybody's personal information out. So when I do these uh, evictions, I can't always do one for every one that I got to talk about. But if I'm able to go through the house without anybody else there and take a video and I get permission to do so, I like to share because there are some really bad ones. Um, and that's what you're going to get. So you're going to get like the, 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 the vlog shorts. And like I said, I'm going to be doing two a week and then three of the locksmith stories. And you'll probably see that flip flop. Once I get through the first 100 that were archived on my other channel, once I get them all brought over here and, but we're going to go the next year, uh, one every weekday. Uh, so looking forward to that and I hope you enjoyed the channel.